Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you to about the Geronic Mini Iron. Before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more information on tools, sewing and projects. Be sure to share this with your sewing friends. Liking this video really helps my videos come up in more searches and, and to more people who might be interested in sewing just like you. Thank you. So today in this video we are going to be talking about another mini iron. This one is the Duronic mini iron. It's very similar in style and look to the Prim sewing iron but there are some distinctive different features which I will go through soon. So the overall weight of this mini iron is 685 grams. The size is the length is 16 centimeters and then the width is 10 centimeters which is still extremely small for an iron which it makes it perfect for small intricate projects. As you can see on the Geronic mini iron it has a variable heat setting. The little nozzle here you can just turn it to any kind of heat setting you want from max to minimum and then in between. This is perfect if you're looking to do lots of use a lot of different fabrics with this iron. Um, having the variable heat setting makes this having the variable heat setting means that you can flip from something quite sheer that's delicate to such something that's much more tough and strong such as cotton. Next you'll see that there's two little dark circles here and here. This is your water gauge. See if you can see it a bit better there. It says max and then the line underneath. This is something you have to pay attention if you're using, if you are wanting to put quite a bit of water in to use the steam function, which is here. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so you want to keep eye on you, an eye on your water. With that, you do get this little cup that helps you fill your water up. Um, and this does have a line on it again, a max line. You won't be able to see it, I don't think. But it does come with a max line, so if you wanted to really be careful, make sure you keep hold of that. Pay attention to this line as well on the line on your mini iron. To fill the iron itself, there's the little rubber toggle here. You can just pull that out, and that's where you fill it up. The one thing I found while using this was the, the toggle's really hard to put back in. You kind of have to really squish it and move it around um, then that's really kind of one of the only downsides is that it's a little bit tougher to use but otherwise once you get used to it you won't even notice it really so if you're wanting to use the steam on the iron there's just a little button here that you press and that will release the steam so there's not a continuous on and off steam it's just kind of like a what you'd find in a, a basic large iron is the fact that you can just press a button and the steam will shoot out Moving on to the top, you'll see your little light. This will come on when your iron is heating up and go off when it's done. On the base, you'll see it's all nice and smooth. I've not managed to ruin it just yet, which is fantastic. And then at the bottom, you've got two little black markers there. These are to help the iron stand so it doesn't fall over or even burn anything. You know, you don't have any accidents that way. So that will stand nicely when you're not using it. One of my favourite features is that the cord comes out directly from the back. This has got a bit more height between the actual iron and the handle area. So it's able to have this section where the cord comes directly out the back in the middle and still stand up without falling over. As you can tell it's easy to grab hold of, fits perfectly in the size of my palm and it's got the rubber edging just to give you an extra bit of grip and hold onto the mini iron and it's really smooth and easy to use so let's heat it up and see how good it is so while that's heating up I'll just run through an extra part that comes with the iron which is kind of like a steam setting I think this is mostly for when you're using more delicate fabrics perfect for if you're using things such as velvet because it gives you a chance to steam the fabric without having to actually squish it these bristles are also great and it's got a nice little soft pad there so the holes here line up with the holes on the iron so the steam can come through and you just simply slot your iron in and it clips on that way. To release it you've got like a little lever, if I can do it, your little lever and you pull it up at the bottom and then you'll be able to slide your iron out. 
So I've got this on max because I'm using cotton. Let's see how it's really smooth and really easy. It glides across the fabric so you don't feel like you have to do a lot of work. I think there's nothing worse than having to like scrub, like feel like you're scrubbing the iron across the fabric. Um, this moves really freely, really easily. And you don't even have to put a lot of pressure on for the actual wrinkles to go. It's quite a strong iron still, which is fantastic. Really easy to use. And you can tell, don't have a crinkle in sight. So overall, I'd give this mini iron a good 8 out of 10. I love this feature that the cord is at the back and it still stands up nicely. I would have liked a different feature for the steam, but that's just me, that's just me personally. Otherwise, I think this is a really good iron, really easy to use, lightweight, and it's good quality. It's well made, very easy. It's also great for a number of projects, which is what I really like. You could use this as a normal iron for your holidays or for small projects such as your seams for clothing, patchwork and even some applique. I hope you've enjoyed this review and found out all the useful information you need to know about getting yourself a mini iron. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!